There are things I've done in my life. I was always ready to face the consequences. To protect my family. What do you know? What I know is soon everyone you love will be dead. The, the baddest old man out there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the baddest old motherfucker in the baddest world. Baddest old motherfucker in the world, yeah. boy. He's been beating Europeans up for two movies in a row. Shit, since I was in diapers. Since you was in diapers. <laughs> just two years ago, you were just a wee lad in diapers. Look I at it. Fast. Hey, you grow fast. These kids out there, boy, you're drinking your milk. You know, I tell you, though... That last movie, that last movie, people said, "No, wait a minute, wait a minute." You know, it ain't, it ain't like it ain't that like that last movie. This is uh, this is kind of some bullshit right here. Yeah. And so somebody said, "We'll make it up to you with that third one." Yeah. You know, everything we, you thought you were missing from that first one, yeah. or that second one, we're gonna try to bring as as much of the original back to you. Yes, yeah, that second one that was trial, trial and error. You know, so okay, that didn't work is out. Is that for trial you. and error? Or trial and error. <laughs> <laughs> trial and error. <laughs> but no. But yeah, they, you know, they wanted to. You know, that didn't work out for them. So like, okay, part three, we can go and they're gonna revamp some shit. We're gonna get that action back, get that same feeling you had. In that the old time. Liam Neeson that yeah. you love. But how can you do that when he's not in Europe beating up Europeans? And how can it be when he's not, I mean, he's not even running after Europeans? He's running from the LAPD. Yeah. You know, that's what black people the do. Liam Neeson don't do that shit. <laughs> Come on, man. What is Liam, De- Liam Neeson doing now? He's running from the LAPD? How is that happening? Well, you see, what happens is, is that we have Liam Neeson, who's returning as special ops agent Brian Mill. Now, after beating the shit out of half of Europe, I mean, that's why he's in L.A. He's like, yeah. you know, I get tired, man, beating up Europeans. He took out Eastern Europe completely. Yeah, you know, ain't nobody that left. That shit's not even there. Yeah, I'm, go- I'm going <laughs> Exactly. I'm going home. You yeah. know? <laughs> Everybody dead? All right, I'm going home. All right. <laughs> Shit, uh, Japan got Godzilla, Eastern Europe got Liam Neeson. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm tired, I'm going home. Yeah. Now he's coming back home, he still can't get out of trouble, man. S- somebody somewhere yeah. don't like him so much that they killed his wife. Yeah. And not even, they didn't even leave it at that. They framed him for the murder. Yeah. So That's now, true. my man, he's out there on the run. This time, as Liam Neeson said, I'm not, the, I'm not the hunter. I am the hunted. Yeah. All the while, he's out there trying to find who did this, clear his name, and also protect the last bit of family that he has, Tommy. Oh, that precious daughter. That Kim. Kim. What's that girl's name? In oh, like the, the actress's shit. name. I always forget her name. Yeah. You know why? Because she's fucking forgettable. <laughs> she's That's very why. forgettable. <laughs> <laughs> Get on that in a little bit. You know, my whole thing with this with this series right here, the problem is when you get to a third one, yeah. why the fuck would you just not disown this man as your family? I wouldn't have talked to this motherfucker since Europe. I wouldn't. This is you. <laughs> After the first movie, I'd After be like, the first movie. I don't even want an email from you. We would have been estranged. Y- yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because if you if you are related to this man, you either going to die or get kidnapped. Yeah, one of the two. One of the two. Or you, maybe sold in the sex trade. Or, 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 or if you're lucky, sold in the sex <laughs> slavery. <laughs> you, you know, one of them times he ain't going to be able to come get your ass. No. You know, he, he's been pushing his luck so he far. He has been. Now, I tell you, oh, hell, people, I can't hold it no more. Let me. <laughs> let, people. Oh. Tonight. Tonight, I have witnessed. Tommy and I, I can't. I tried to, I tried to tried. hold it back. You did try. I, I was there with you. I was playing my hand, man. I tried to keep a poker face. You should have seen my feet. I was, I was tapping. It was tapping, man. Come on, quit bullshit. Come on, quit bullshit. <laughs> People, I have seen tonight an epic example of cinematic don't give a fuckery. Oh. I mean, don't give a shit. Of a whole new level. Of a whole new level. Well, you don't. <laughs> boy, you. But y'all. <laughs> Y'all just don't know, man. Y'all don't know. <laughs> Y'all don't know. This shit that you see here in the trailer doesn't tell you at all no. how horrible this fucking film is. Man, it doesn't come close. It. I wish I could just sit down and show you the movie because you are not going to believe half the shit that we tell you. Look, it, we wouldn't even have to show them the whole movie. It's about, I can think about three scenes that we would just have to show them. For them to be like, are you fucking serious? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> no, man. Now, you see. You you, you, you made you, you edited this shit yourself. You think that we, you, some of the things that we are about to tell you. I feel like I have to, I, I feel like I actually have to do that disclaimer before certain like yeah. cop shows or something. 
what we're about to tell you is true. <laughs> None of the bullshit that we are saying has been made up. <laughs> what amazes me about this film, first of all, is how much, even though he's not in Europe anymore beating up people, yeah. even though it's Liam Neeson, Liam Neeson himself, Liam Neeson himself said, I do not want to do another Taken movie where it's just the same thing. Right. He says, this time, the hunter has become the hunter. That's a different thing right there. Oh, yeah. No, it's the same old shit. At the beginning of the movie, right in the first 10 minutes, he's walking in still giving his daughter Kim the same shitty gifts that he was giving in the first movie. <laughs> yeah. This girl's almost, this girl's in her 20s now, and look at him bringing in a fucking teddy, teddy bear. bear. Like bringing a teddy bear. I'm, his daughter is like, God damn, you know, his, and I can't remember the actress's Maggie name. Maggie Grace. Maggie Grace. That was it. Maggie Grace, she's crying right now because she's like, God damn, dad. <laughs> I'm fucking 25 years old now. <laughs> Got a boyfriend, Got an a apartment boyfriend. and shit. I'm fucking pregnant. Pregnant. And you bringing in a fucking teddy bear, Jack? You, Are you, you could, kidding me? You could at least be... Yeah. Because of you... I lost my mom and got sold in the sex life. But now, <laughs> the fucking least you could do is bring me an iPhone 6 or something. Yeah. The first, did you not learn from the first minute she don't like the shit you give her? Look at me like, hey, I didn't like it what I brought to you. You're a fucking panda. Good as ear from ear. Every time. Yeah. He just bought the most. Hey, look at he this. He bought, bought her a fucking pony or something. <laughs> Come on, man. You kill, you kill people. You kill people. She's seen you kill people. You can bring me a diamond at least. <laughs> you still bringing me shitty shit from the pawn shop? Yeah. She's like, oh, fuck it. Just put it over there with the other bullshit you bought me. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even try on that end. That tells you right at the beginning that this movie is not trying to do anything new, no matter what kind of plot or premise that they give you. Now, the other thing with this, for an action film, I have never seen a movie like this that was edited <laughs> no. so bad. No, that's what I mentioned to you when we left. I was like, I, you, you guys mentioned it a lot. You know, editing was, it was so jumbly. It was quick. And, you know, you couldn't make out anything. I've heard that from you guys a lot. Never have I seen a movie edited this way in which, can, look, you can't see shit. You can't see the people. You don't know what's happening. It's no. just blurs. No, you, this movie shot too close and edited too fast. Way too fast. And the reason why they do it, Tom, you remember, do you remember how at the beginning of the movie we saw, we we had uh, we had Liam Neeson, they showed him, if you look closely, my man got a gut. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a beer belly. A beer belly. He's pudgy. And then in a, there's about five, six, ten different scenes where it's a blur. And it's a man running by ten pounds lighter than he is. In a bad wig. In a bad wig. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, shit sliding off to the side and shit. Cocked to the side yeah. and shit. And it's funny because people, I, Tommy and I were laughing so hard in the car. <laughs> you know it's a stunt man. Yeah. Because, you know, once they get past... All this fast action right here. Once they get past him beating the fuck out of people in these quick cuts. Yeah. Once you actually get to see that it's Liam Neeson. <laughs> you remember the scene when he was running? He was running down the alley. He was... <laughs> Do you remember that? That motherfucker ran five steps before he had to stop. <laughs> fuck. I mean, he was really like, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Shit, fuck taking four. You thought that motherfucker was gonna pass out. He really people, we're not lying. No. We're not lying. No exaggeration. Liam Neeson, really? Fuck. Shit. And like, wow, man, now we know you're using a stunt man. Yeah. This man is 62 years old. Leave this man alone. Let him be. Let him be. He don't want to do this shit no more. Let me tell you something. After you see this shit, you kinda don't even want to see Liam Neeson in an action movie anymore. You really just want to see him just take a see break. Him rest. You just want to see him. I'll watch rest. a movie with him laying down. You know, watching television. So just, I'd rather watch that. I'd rather watch. You know? I know he ain't really old, old, but I, but really, if I, if the next movie I saw, if Taken 4 took place in an old folks' home, yeah. I'd be happy to I'd see be that because he earned that shit. Yeah. Look at that would him. be more realistic. That's him running from the next one. God damn, get away from me. <laughs> I don't want to do shit. another. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling y'all, my man is tired. He's, he don't, he is, man. That, it, you see quick cuts of a stump man, and then it cuts to Liam Neeson when they finally get to his face. Like, <laughs> you know, he really don't want to do he this shit no man. more. Usually when people get roles like this, even if they're older, they work out, they build themselves up and all that kind of shit. This motherfucker did not. No, he for this one, this is the movie where he finally said, fuck it. I yeah. got nothing to prove to anyone. Exactly. 
If you're going to do that, don't make, don't make the fucking movie, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because it, it, it really does show. Oh, it does show. It's, uh, it's, it's bad when you know that the, the title of the movie don't even reflect what's in the movie. <laughs> this shit is called Taken. Yeah. Ain't nobody taking it no in this one. shit. Nobody's taking nobody. I mean, you could say taking into custody, I guess. But he's not. You know, uh, <laughs> you know, t- taking his daughter, you know, for the what, the last five minutes of the movie? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It there's no that there's nobody who's taking in this ta- taking his wife's life. I mean, that's a stretch. There's no no one is taking anymore. No. In anything. It's a complete look, I told you this is the equivalent of the hangover trilogy. It 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 you know what? It is. It is. Where they don't they're not they're not trying anymore. First one was good, accidentally good, but it was good. Second one, like, oh shit, let's do the exact same thing that we did in that first movie. Same as Taken. Taken did the exact same <laughs> fucking thing in that second movie. Exactly. They did in the first movie. Oh shit, that didn't work out. People don't like that. Fuck it, we're going to do something completely different. Fresh slate. We're not going anywhere. We're staying right here in L.A. Okay. <laughs> just like okay. the Tango. Sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like Tango. <laughs> you know. So, okay. That shit didn't work out in the Hangover in part three. And it didn't work And it did not work here. <laughs> And people, the movie's edited so bad, they don't even exp- I've never seen a movie where they just said, fuck it. You just, hey, look, you know he's Liam Neeson. If, the, if something blows up and you just see him in the next scene just walking away safe, just assume that it's Liam Neeson, that he's a badass enough yeah, to do that. He can figure it out. There's a scene in this movie, <laughs> an elevator blows up. This shit right there. Right there. Now, people, for those who are listening, I just showed you this scene. You see this elevator shaft right here? No escape. Two seconds before that, two seconds before that, Liam Neeson, you saw his hand. He was trapped in a car. It, somehow, some ridiculous shit happened where he drove a car into an elevator <laughs> shaft. Yeah. And could. And, it had and, to be about a good, what? A couple stories down. Uh, no. Did you see what that car hit? It was eight stories. Eight stories. Oh, yeah, you're right. It was eight stories. My man hits the ground, survives the eight story fall in a car. Yeah. He's, now they show you don't even see Liam Neeson. You see his hand, and then you see him trying to push the Struggling door. Struggling to push the door, and you hear him. <laughs> Next thing we see, <laughs> and explosions way bigger than that. Shit blows up the building. Blows up the fucking, the fucking building. building. That's how massive this explosion was. And by the way, they don't come back in the news and say ten civilians died in an explosion a day caused by fucking <laughs> Liam Neeson. <laughs> No, they just it's never brought up again. And by the way, after you see this fireball of a nuclear explosion on this building, yeah. where the last part we saw was Liam Neeson pinned in by a car. After this, plow plow, we see they cut to Liam Neeson in a field. Yeah. Kim, are you okay? <laughs> Kim. Like, no explanation whatsoever of how none. this motherfucker escaped. None. I actually th- zilch <laughs> zero. It cuts from a building blowing up, him being pinned in. Next scene, he's out in the field. Kim, Kim, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but what the fuck did you do? There's a big <laughs> nuclear cloud in the fucking city, man. When, you know, I just and the funny thing is, when that fucking fireball happened right there, I actually thought I dozed off. In the in those two seconds, I, I turned to you. Did you notice? I said. Tommy, did I fucking miss something? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, I thought I missed something. You, you, I was like, uh, did I blink? I'm not I mean, getting really shit. What did I? I thought I saw the whole thing, but clearly I must have passed out for a couple of seconds. For a couple of seconds, you know, we were looking at each other like, did we just fucking travel through time or yeah. something? I, what did happened? Time freeze or some shit like that. Is what? there a vortex here where <laughs> you and I are sitting because I didn't see this shit? This movie's so bad it makes you question your own sanity. It it really did. It I'm does. Like, and, you know, made me feel like I had fucking uh, amnesia and uh, and and uh, uh, what's that other one? Fucking that old people get <laughs> Alzheimer's, uh, Alzheimer's, amnesia, and all that early shit. Early signs, side scene, sinality, and all that shit. I was like, what the fuck did I just did I miss something? Now they must have heard me and Tommy talking about what the fuck because the movie said, all right, I'm gonna explain the next explosion for you. Okay, so the second one, he gets ran off of a cliff, and you can clearly see him in the car as the car goes over the cliff. Takes about, I say, ten tumbles. <laughs> yes, it's crushed, and they brought back that old school shit for when the car goes off the cliff. Yes, it's, it's still, it's all crushed and shit. All of a sudden, five seconds later, kaboom! <laughs> yeah, that's you know, that's a funny thing too. The 
No gas is leaking. No gas is there. And, and, and by the way, they have Russian gangsters who stand at the edge of the cliff just waiting. Just wait. Just, yeah. They wait the whole time. Yeah. When Telekinesis. Is, when is this shit going to explode, comrade? You know? <laughs> and the shit blows up. They better not pull this shit again. Next scene. Liam Neeson walking up to a fucking store. <laughs> not a scratch. Okay. <laughs> not a fucking scratch on him. Yeah, same thing. Get him. You need get to get him. Get him. <laughs> you don't believe us? Here you go, right here. Yeah. My man, my man Liam Neeson walks away from that. that. <laughs> he walks away from that. That shit. And it's funny, too, because the Russian gangsters, Liam Neeson, who somehow gets their phone number, says, you know, he says, I'm going to find you. I didn't die in that explosion. They're just like, how did you escape? <laughs> and then flashback. And then they just show you a quick flashback of the car rolling. Somehow he jumps out the window. Another one of those quick edits that you can't even understand. And he hides behind a rock. A rock. They don't even show him jump out the car. They just show him on the ground rolling. And then How the fuck he jumped rock. out of the car? No one knows. That bullshit. Right there. Man. <laughs> Boy, his, this, mind that, blown. That, that, that car ain't the only thing. That's my mind right, exactly. right here, man. <clears throat> <laughs> don't fucking get it. <laughs> Epic cinematic don't give a fuckery. Epic. On a whole. This is some next level shit. I've never seen anything shit. like it. I can honestly say, I've seen a lot of fucking movies. I have never seen anybody not give a fuck more than whoever made this shit. Did you see how he was dressed? Yeah. Now, people, we showed you how this fool looked before. Early in the movie, you saw him, he had his gray sweats on. His old man sweater. Had his old man sweater, had yeah. on, probably had on some flip-flops. Oh, yeah. When the police came in for him, <laughs> he didn't expect this shit. He's like, shit, I was in there reading, reading the paper right yeah. now. Watching Matlock. <laughs> <laughs> Watching Walking Texas Ranger. Y'all come busting in on me. And then... Once he's on the run, out of nowhere, what does that fool show up in? Outfit. The outfit. The uniform. The uniform. He shows up. <laughs> my man shows up in that leather jacket. Oh, yeah. That black shirt and that leather jacket. Same shit he had the last two movies. Yeah, you know what, man? It's one thing. Look, when you're on the run, yeah. and I think that if you're a special ops person like this, you know that you just don't go out there just like you just got back from Banana Republic. Yeah. And you look at He's posing. <laughs> yeah. He's, Stylish as hell. He's modeling right now. Looks like I order some shit off of Jack Threads. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fool is out. He's a wanted man. Wanted man. He wanted. Ain't, ain't got no shades. Ain't got no hoodie. He's out there wide in the open on the phone posing for everybody. Could have threw a goddamn baseball cap on. Something. Something. God damn, I look good. <laughs> you know, people, what he's wearing right now is not the kind of thing that you... You shoplift. No. It's not the kind of thing that you just jacked off somebody. Oh, hell no. That's fitted. That's fitted. Eh? Yeah. He went shopping for that shit. He you went know? shopping. Yeah, he went to the mall. We didn't see that scene, granted. It was it was sweater, next scene, GQ. G GQ. Yeah. You know, and it, it wasn't like he went to the mall and was just like, let me grab this real quick. No, it was like. Be incognito. He was like, hmm, hmm, yeah, well, I like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much is this right here? You know, it's. it's like, <laughs> is this on sale? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Put on my credit card. You know, this, this ain't the kind of shit you run out there and you just like. Yeah, steal from someone's backyard off the, you know. Off the clothes yeah, line. Right. Yeah, <laughs> You know, it's, it's ridiculous. Even even Tom Cruise in in in, in, in uh, Mission Impossible Four. Yeah. Even Tom Cruise, he didn't run around grinning and shit. Talking about, yeah, I'm Tom yeah. Cruise. You know, like a, was stealthy. He was ste he even he wasn't afraid to get his homeless on. Look at yeah, him. Yeah, that hood on like shit. Ain't nobody gonna find me. Shit, he got his Trayvon on quick. God damn right. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, y'all ain't gonna find me. <laughs> that's how you stay incognito. That's how you stay incognito. Unlike this motherfucker right here, I gotta make this look good. <laughs> yeah, you know, I gotta kill people in style. This stupid <laughs> shit right here. Furthermore, <laughs> I ain't done yet. We ain't done yet, no, people. No. I, you know, the thing that I hate in movies is where you got a guy who's supposed to get by on true stealth. Yeah. You know, he's supposed to get by by making himself uh, almost invisible. Yeah, exactly. I can't stand it when it's just by you know by by stupid shit that people do that he's that he gets lucky he gets lucky he does get lucky quite a bit because he does some dumb shit he's way did you dude just walked up in the morgue and did his own <laughs> autopsy on his own his, his own dead ex-wife minutes after the police were there police Min still lingering around police still lingering around yeah and this fool is the thing that what i hate about it is it's that shit where <laughs> where he gets into places because somebody's hanging outside on a smoke break yeah 
and and they go in and they uh, and when they go in they they fling that door open wide <laughs> so that when they go inside they can get like you know fifty yards down the hallway he can go up there and stop the door before it completely closes yeah put his he, foot through there put his foot through there real quick he just <laughs> yeah are people just leaving the door wide open for him yeah. to walk through ain't no stealth here he's lucky and it makes it it really don't make any sense to me because by the time people get in you know he's there seconds after they get through the door yeah this happens more than once. In order for, for in order for you to be able to run up and, and keep that door closed, and that means you right by the people when they're outside taking that smoke exactly. break. Exactly. They should hear your footsteps. Or better yet, they should be sitting up there like, the hey, what's this motherfucker doing looking at us right now? <laughs> we can we, see you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> no, you can't. You like my jacket? <laughs> <laughs> Liam Neeson, I'm telling you, he knows that this is starting to be a way. Look, he don't want to be in this shit. Look there. at him. He's like somebody his, took his uh, his wife and his kids. It made him do it this. It made shit. him do this shit. He's literally phoning this shit in right now. <laughs> Look at his eyes. This 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 series has sucked the soul from the my life man. out of him. Now Liam Neeson is not the only victim here. Anybody, I don't care if you're an extra on the set. Anybody who has a name at all, anybody who's breathing that's involved with this movie, yeah. it is a waste of talent for them. More importantly. You get people like Forrest Whitaker in here. And Forrest Whitaker, one of our most talented... I love Forrest Whitaker. One of our most talented actors out there, man. Academy I, Award winner. Academy Award winner Forrest Whitaker. I have never seen somebody who has wasted their time in a movie who was in such an unappreciative role for yeah. a person of his caliber like this film has done to Forrest Whitaker. Look at him. He's like, hey, like I know. I know. Look at him. He's shamed right now. I know, Corey. I know. I don't know what I was thinking, man. I hope they paid him well. That, man, it was a paycheck. <laughs> it, was, it was a paycheck. I got a card. Hey, Corey. By now, I'm sure you know who I am. You know what I'm capable of. I am beginning to. Let me ask you something, just so I'm clear. CIA operative, Division 6, Division 7, what? All you have to know is I'm innocent. You give me two days, I can prove it. I can find out who did it. You may very well be innocent, Mr. Innocent. But that's the court's job to decide. It's not mine. My job is to bring you in and let the law take its course. That's it. Good luck. You know, and look, somebody even getting up. Yeah, whatever. They, they didn't yeah. let him finish his line. Man, I'm out. <laughs> somebody, somebody, somebody's walking out this clip right now. Yeah. You know that the movie has ran out of shit to do when the hero, when the hero right here has taken the villain's line from the first movie. Exactly. He, he don't even have shit to, he don't even have anything original to do anymore. Good luck. Look at this shit. Good luck. You know, he, he, he don't have <laughs> shit to do anymore. By the way. Oh. Forrest Whitaker, what you see him doing right here is what he does through half the movie. He's either telling this guy, I want you to go. Go get him. Go find him. Or he's on the phone. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? You're like, We're coming to get you. You stay right there. It's like, man. 95% of the time he's on his phone. He's 95% of the time, this is That's what he what has doing. to do in the movie. Just in different locations. Justin, you stay right there. We're, com we're coming to get you. You need a ride? We'll give you one. You know what I mean? Thankless role for a man of this caliber right Yes. Here. I think that him and Liam Neeson actually had one scene together. They did. The rest of the time, they were pretending to talk to each other on the phone. Exactly. They did not give a shit about not only this film, but of you as an audience. The movie plays you for dumb. Oh, plays you for the dumbest motherfucker in the world. They actually ask you to... Let me show you what they do here. <laughs> Do you do you remember the 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 stepdad from the first movie? You know, uh, you know Kim's dad. Vaguely. The, the the dude that was, you know, when 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 Liam Neeson was coming in and giving those shitty karaoke machines yeah. and you know, bring, you know, giving her the worst birthday of her life. You know, yeah, this guy comes in buys a pony. This guy right that here, guy. Xander Berkeley, is the actor. Yeah, he was the nice dad, giving her everything yeah. that poor Liam Neeson couldn't do. Now for this for this third movie, they needed a new villain. Yeah. And you can't get, you know, but and they wanted to, they, for some reason they thought, oh, you know what, since we ran out of fucking Europeans, we're just going to go ahead and uh, make the stepdad the villain in, in this yeah. one. It's some shit you could catch on to immediately. It's some shit you know. You got to catch on to it in the first five minutes. People, if you, if you, if I'm really spoiling this for you, put yourself in a car and drive off a car. <laughs> Pull a Liam Neeson. Pull a Liam Neeson. But th this man right here, they said he looks too nice to be the villain. Way too nice. Way Kinda. too nice. 
tell you, we need somebody a little more ominous and somebody way younger than this dude, too. Yeah. So they went out and found somebody who looks completely nothing like this dude, age-wise, ethnic-wise. He's probably about 20 years younger than that guy. Doug Ray Scott. Come on. <laughs> the Mission Impossible villain. For real, people? <laughs> I'm, for those of you who can't see this shit, I'm out here doing this for the audience that can. That's why I wish some of y'all could see this right now. I'm just doing this for the audience that's looking at the, at, at the show right now. Look, uh, Xander Berkeley, Doug Ray Scott. Xander Berkeley, Doug Ray Scott. They didn't even try to find this man to have a, a another casting role as, as the same age. No. That's how much they don't give a fuck about That's you. <laughs> they think you're stupid. They say, yeah, you know, it, oh, he was from the first movie. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody gonna know that this younger guy right here was this 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 old dude right here. Exactly. No one remembers that. That twist that they do at the end with the husband and shit. Come on. That's the most. You know, was that a twist? Because I saw that shit from jump. From opening scene, I knew what the fuck was going on. <laughs> when the the moment that this dude walked in, Doug Ray Scott comes in and st- the dude comes in because he says, "I'm trying to get my marriage together with uh, with Famke Jansen, right. L- Lenore." You know, which and we can't do that if you come in and you're and, and she still has feelings for you and you're kind of ruining things. You know, just let us just leave us alone. Let's do our thing. Yeah. Now, a normal guy would come in and says, "You know, man to man, Liam Neeson, I, I respect you and I wish you wouldn't come around anymore while my wife and I try to get our, our stuff together." No offense against you, you know, you're a good guy, but you understand, right? Yeah. And but now he comes in and he's like. I want you to stay away from my wife. And it's like, this motherfucker's hiding something. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> and when Liam, Shady as hell. And when Liam Neeson ain't looking, he's on his phone, on Liam Neeson's phone doing shit. And then yeah. when Liam Neeson turns around, he's like, <laughs> oh, oh, hey, 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 what's going on? What's up? Yeah, what, yeah, what, two no, sugars, two yeah, sugars. Yeah, two sugars, two sugars. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah he gets called and shit. Huh, 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 I want on your phone. <laughs> I want calling the terrorists up to kill you. I want to do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty as a, he, it, That's why you hire this fucking dude. That's not even his. That's not even him in the movie. That's a picture of him. That's his headshot for another film. That's a that's a scene from a movie where he's a fucking good guy. Oh, he actually he's played a good guy before. He, believe it or not, he's played a good guy. He still looks scary. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huh? You really? Do, do tell. Because yeah, right. <laughs> the motherfucker looks evil to me. Shit. In real life, if he came to your house, you'd be you would keep your eye on him the whole time. I'd have a gun on that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Before he leaves, you tell him, "Hey man, I know you stole some shit. Drop yeah. it." I'd frisk that motherfucker when you left my house. <laughs> what did you do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. The movie. If there's one thing that bothers me about about a, a, a bad movie, a movie that um, I can watch a bad movie and have fun with it. Right. I can watch a movie and even defend it for saying, you know what? At least you knew what you what what what. You, at least you know what you are and you and you got that right. But I really get upset when a movie doesn't respect your intelligence. The movie expects you to like, oh, you got short term memory. You're not going to remember all this other stuff. Yeah. Oh, you just assume that Liam Neeson's a bad enough badass that he can just get out of anything. That's the laziest kind of fucking filmmaking oh, to that's me. Extremely lazy. Not only is it lazy, but it's very sloppy. Yeah, it's very sloppy, and it and it defy. Look, you remember the freeway scene? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> There's a scene in this movie, people, that uh, physics. Fuck physics. That, that shit, let's put that on the back burner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's some shit straight out of Grand Theft Auto. Literally. You know how in Grand Theft Auto, when you flip your car, the shit just turns right back over and you continue to drive? And you just keep, keep going. You got it here, people. Liam Neeson, by the way, out of this car chase, he's long gone. Long gone. Long gone, but for some reason, they just want to keep- Shit's still going. They want to keep the car chase going. It's, it's, you, remember, you remember that game Mousetrap? When you <laughs> yeah. set one thing off and it just sets everything else? That's what the fuck happened. A giant Rube Goldberg machine. Is what <laughs> exactly. People. For no reason. Liam Neeson is far along <laughs> gone out the scene. His car chase is over. It's over. There's a crate in the, in the movie that just says, hold on, I ain't done yet. He just rolls <laughs> over everybody. No. <laughs> the, the, that crate, that SUV, they thought they were in the Olympics. <laughs> they thought they were in a gymnastics competition. They wanted you to give them a 10 or a 9. Because after that shit was done, I, I wrote something down and I put it up in the air. 10. 10. <laughs> That's the fucking SUV that goes in the air and sticks his landing. and just Sticks it. Yes. <laughs> it was like there were two cars that just said, fuck Liam Neeson. I want to keep going. Yeah. You know how? I got some screen time? Oh, shit. Let me show out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shit. You know, I'm going to be a star. Yeah. I mean, it was, 
it's people. It's 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 this is beyond cartoonish. It is. This is beyond. They wanted to get this movie out so fast that it, they got a final product that was not ready to be released out there. But no. somehow they said, "Fuck it, we got to get it out there." You know, two, 2015 is a crowded year. Yeah. And they said, "You know what? We're just gonna put it out there anyway." And my my last thing here is that this film it doesn't work. It does not work when Liam Neeson is the one that's being hunted. No. It, it, you know, the, the thing that made the first movie so much fun, and the reason why it worked, is because Liam Neeson, we didn't know that character, first of all. We had no clue about no him. shit about him. We didn't know shit about him. And then when he actually has, and so we learn from, you know, he looks like a nice guy. He's an older guy. Yeah. And we learn gradually how badass this guy is. Right. First time seeing him. And He's he's procedurally going around and hunting down these Europeans. He's killing his way to the top. He's killing his way to the top. Yeah. So, you know, he's actually stalking all these people that we see. Right. Now, in this one, with him being tracked down by the LAPD, first of all, the momentum's gone. You notice in, in Taken, it was mostly on Liam Neeson. Yeah. There was hardly a scene without him going around kicking ass. Exactly right. Now, in this movie, we actually have to we have to stop. We have to have scenes of the LAPD talking. Yeah. We have to have scenes of Forrest Whitaker yelling at his crew and talking about whether he's innocent or guilty. The momentum is broken here. The momentum is gone. We, we All the scenes that we don't have Liam Neeson in, I mean, shit, in the, in the scenes that we have Liam Neeson are not that good. Right. The, Liam, the scenes with Liam Neeson in there uh, with, with where he's not there, they're worse. I mean, next time, what's her name, Maggie Grace? Next yeah. time Maggie Grace... You know, next time she she gets taken, let her stay taken yeah, because she's she needs a, to learn. She, she's not a great <laughs> we character. In the fan. We don't really need her anymore. No, you don't. Fan King Jamson, the best thing that happened to her is that she died in this movie in you, the most emotionless way I have ever seen. Lenore is you know, she plays Lenore, his she wife. Plays Lenore. Yeah, yeah. You would think some this, this is a character that we've seen in two other movies. We know this character, and yet <laughs> her death it just it's one scene he <laughs> she's it, alive. Next scene, she's dead in the dumbest fucking way. Apparently, she has her throat slit, <laughs> which you don't see anything. It looks like a scratch. Did you notice when her throat is slashed, there's no blood? No blood anywhere. That's the cleanest fucking throat slash I've ever seen. He discovers her body. I'm like, well, what, what the fuck? Well, was, she, was she stabbed? What the hell? And then you see a little trickle of blood by her neck. You're like, was her throat slashed? What it's the? a fucking knife about this big yeah. on the floor and two little drops of blood. Yeah. And, and, and they're trying to keep the gore down here because they want to keep that PG-13 rating. So that's why you don't see a whole lot of blood there. She is the happiest person in this fucking she cast is. right now because she's like, I do not have to come back yeah. to that shitty fourth film if they decide to make one. <laughs> <It's, laughs> you, you think that because he's on the run from the LAPD, like, oh, okay, well, shit, I don't want to see this if he's not fighting Europeans. Well, don't, no, don't worry. Don't worry. It's almost like yeah. in the last 10 minutes of the film, they say, oh, that's right. People like to see Taken. him beat up Eastern Europe, yeah. Eastern Europeans. Exactly. Which... Are some of the weakest Europeans that you've seen, Stuart? Most generic. Most generic. Sam, the 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 lead gangster is played by a British dude named Sam uh, Sam Spruill, I believe, who looks like the the angry math nerd that you had in high school. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing intimidating about this dude. <laughs> no, not and, you at know, all. and you learn nothing about him. He's supposed to play like a a, a Russian gangster, yeah. uh, the, the leader of the Russian gangster. Exactly. First of all, he has a terrible accent. What, le what little he gets to speak. One of the worst accents I've ever heard. And by the end of the movie, he actually has a scene. I don't have it here, but he actually fights Liam Neeson, Liam Neeson in whitey tidy underwear, man. In his underwear. How bad you beats, expect? Beats Liam, Liam Neeson takes out a, practically a floor. Yeah. But he's having trouble with a motherfucker in his tidy white. In his underwear. In his yeah. friend. His That's who gets Liam Neeson. In his through the looms. Yeah. Looking like looking like uh, Ron Griswold or something. <laughs> <laughs> looking like what's his name from Ron Harry Weasley. Looking like Ron Weasley. <laughs> looking like Ron Weasley tried to dye his hair brown and then he, he, he tried to fool people. I don't buy that shit. You still oh, look crazy. Man. Motherfucker look like an angry elf right there. Look at <laughs> and we're supposed to buy him as a bad motherfucker. Please, man. Yeah, and plus we only see him at the beginning and at the very fucking end. And they're gonna try to give this motherfucker a backstory just so we can Feel like he's an authentic villain. Everything, if you notice, most of his running that has that it, it's it's running or car chases. 
they do the same shit you see in the car chases. They yeah. drive on the side, on the wrong side of the road, you and know. Oncoming traffic. On, and... The oncoming traffic. Cars are flipping everywhere. I mean, you know, you 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 you've seen you've seen all this shit already. I mean, it's not this is nothing new. This is nothing new at all. But uh, anytime they tr- they do try to give you any bit of a story here, it's all it's always done in flashback. Because that's how much they're rushing this movie out. I yeah. mean, it's almost like they shot the the, the 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 key story parts or the character development in post. Yeah. Or they went back and you know sh- uh, shot it later. Yeah. So yeah, people. God. I, even us, even us here describing this, it's not giving justice to how fucking lazy and just outrageous this fucking movie is. It's something where I don't ever want to reward a film like this for no. as bad as it is. But it really is something that you got to see. These trailers look like it's just a routine action yeah. movie with a little bit of money thrown behind it. Mediocre at best. Yeah. No, this is a movie so bad it defies it, it defies belief. It is. It, it, <laughs> I told you this. It ranks up there as like the worst fucking movies I've ever seen. As, ever. <laughs> as, as far as a movie that doesn't care. And and just and puts it out there for you. And they're not even trying to hide it anymore. Yeah. This is a this this movie is an insult. It is. And 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 I, I feel bad because I really, I mean, re- just just leave Liam Neeson alone. Man. Yeah, that's what I I feel bad for him. He does not want to do this shit anymore. No. You know, anytime anytime Forrest Whitaker's right eye is working harder <laughs> than, than, than Liam Neeson. Yeah. <laughs> Martin said, uh, Forrest Whitaker's left eye is retired already. Uh, <laughs> that, that right eye is still working. It's still, it's, still, it's still getting a check. That left eye's in Florida, right? That left eye's in Florida right now. That left eye's in Florida. Re- that left eye's in Florida reading the script right now. <laughs> that left eye did more shit in this movie than Liam Neeson did oh, <laughs> right there. He's tired. You know what's funny? How taking the original, that's what kicked this whole thing off for Liam Neeson with the you know old man action, you know, stuff. Yeah, yeah. I feel like this could be the one that just ends it. It and they and they, they you know, leave it for leave it for uh for Sylvester Stallone to run with this. You yeah. know, if they if they want to do another expendables, that's fine. Do another expendables. You know, doing other Rambos. This is Sylvester Stallone territory right here. He knows how to actually get stupid with the shit and not be insulting with it. Exactly right. He actually looks like he wants to be there. Yeah. And don't bring this motherfucker to the Expendables. I don't don't want to see Liam Neeson holding a gun anymore for a while. (laughs) After this, I thought, man, you know, I love, you know. I I remember saying to Martin one time, I said, man, all these action movies, they they might be bad, but Liam Neeson's always the badass in it, man. I love seeing Neeson beat the fuck out of people. Not Not after today. Nah, man. I'm done. I'm done. I don't wish bad things on movies, man, but if I really hope that this does not do well. It doesn't deserve to do it well, doesn't. first of all. And second of all, it's uh I don't want to see them do another one because they've truly ran out of ideas yeah, here. Man. It's Take obvious. this shit out the pasture. Yeah. Just yeah. put it out of its misery because it's done. It's done. Y'all hey look, y'all want to make a fourth one? You know. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> That's Lee. Liam, Liam Neeson can't even believe he's still doing this shit. Look at him. He's like, really? I'm still here? <laughs> Y'all still, y'all still want me to do this shit? I'm 62 years old, man. 62 fucking years old. Stop! For a guy named uh, Oliver Megaton, you made this ain't this ain't even a fucking whimper right here. I thought his name was Megatron at first. <laughs> what the fuck kind of direct is this? Fuck you. Fuck you. This movie gets one big fuck you from me. That's how bad this movie is. You don't want to try, like, oh, that's my motto. You don't want to try, I'm not going to try either. You can go fuck yourself. Liam Neeson, I respect you, man, but I'm tired of watching you in this shit. Go do a drama now, you yeah. know. I that's, think that's what he wants to do, clearly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go do some more cartoon voices or something, but don't, don't do this shit no more. You know what? I'm going to have to concur. <laughs> fuck this movie in its ass. Thank Sodomize you. this movie. Thank you. Because this shit is bad. It is bad. Bad man. Put on some rubber gloves and stick it right up Liam Neeson's ass. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't, I don't. I'm exhausted even telling you about this. It is. Here's the funny thing: as long as I don't have to pay for this, I will watch this again when it comes on HBO or comes on uh, some something on TV okay. when it comes on TBS or something because I'm gonna have to sit back and really watch this to see if everything. It's gonna be one of those things where it's gonna be a year or two from now. And I'm gonna sit there and say, man, did I imagine all of that that I just saw? <laughs> was that did, was that really real? Was it really that bad? I must have missed some things. It wasn't that bad. I'm gonna have to look at it to really believe that it. That, no, it was exactly like I remember. Oh yeah. Whoo, 
shit. <laughs> people. Enter at your own risk. And I'm just waiting oh, yeah. for those people to come back and say, man, it wasn't all that bad. All right, you know what? Fine. Don't you, talk to me. Anymore. Yeah, don't. You know, <laughs> I'm done. You, hold, you know my opinion. Leave me the fuck alone. I'm out of it now. Yeah. I'm out of it. In fact, does it take him four? I might not even go see that shit. No. That's the one I'm drawing the line. <laughs> Tom asked me to come and fill my place. Fuck huh? no. That'll uh, be the day I quit. And <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what, Tommy? You go ahead and quit. I tell you what, I will find you <laughs> and I will reveal you. <laughs> Stupid shit right here. Uh, they'll find you and they'll stop you. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs>